review. Why? What's going on here? <laughs> Nothing's working. There we go. <laughs> well, you have review number four. Uh, I'm Braden. I'm Zell. I'm Dan. Uh, and this is the weekly roundup of UFO videos for the week of October 4th uh, to October 8th. Um, well, why don't we just uh, get right into it with this first video. This first video is brought to you from Brooklyn, New York, USA. Uh, it was submitted September 24th, uh, 2021, MUFON case number 118205. Uh, the submitter said there's a weird transparent object that spirals down over Brooklyn. Um, they kind of let you know that um, this was spotted south of LaGuardia, LaGuardia Airport. Mm -hmm. um, the submitter thought it was at first a flock of birds, but then realized that they were too high and moved too fast. And at times he said it looked like a transparent flag, except much larger. Um, but the flight path seemed oddly smooth and unpredictable. Um, well, without further ado, let's uh, let's get into watching this one. Oh, and if you want uh, all the original clips of these videos with the original audio uh, and not us three idiots talking over it, you can find the links in the description. Uh, let's get into it. All right. So a little preview watching. here. Ooh. Landscape people, come on. I could see how they would mistake for a flock of birds originally. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Is it dart darting in and out of the clouds? It, it looks like it kind of hid gets hidden. It's definitely coming down though. Like doing like a spiral pattern down. Yeah. Yeah, it's just like circling around and around. Yeah. It's definitely spiraling down. Well, it kind of went back up there a little bit. It almost looks like aircraft flying in formation a little bit. It's pulling some really, yeah, if it were an aircraft, I'd be like, it's pulling some pretty tight turns. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Small, small craft. Maybe it's out of control, or maybe it's, yeah, I could see why that originally looks like a flock of birds, but then that, that pattern of flying is it's, too weak. Yeah, it looks very strange. I think we, I think we have some zoomed up, uh, footage coming up i think it's still there in this clouds i can just kind of make it out it's definitely like going down i don't, I don't even see it anymore i was just in the clouds right above the like ac units there i just had oh there it is right on uh, right above yeah. the ac units in the middle i can kind of see it flash every now and then uh i think it's just about out of camera view now I don't see it. Oh, there it is. Just above the AC units again. It's still just spiraling. Right oh, in wow. the dark clouds there. Sure, yeah. Yeah, okay, I see so it dropping. It's come all the way down. Yeah. What looks like to be coming down, at least. Let's see, we got... Zoomed in version. Okay. It definitely looks like it's circling in and out of the cloud. Yeah, there. I mean, that's a... It's a strange. I mean, when you do it like that, it definitely looks like it has like a, a delta V. Yeah, like a shape. Yep. Yeah, the craft. See, like the... right there, like a per... there's a. So, so yeah. Is that that kind of looks like, like almost like an exhaust almost? In that and like the zoomed in version, it kind of looks like something's like. Well, like that could just be. That be the cloud coming? Is it like some type of condensation? Coming off of it? I don't know. Like you can definitely see it. Like it, it flat. Like it gets brighter and then it turns. Well, I think it's because it's turning away from. Every time it turns, it's you know, it's narrow edge to the camera. It's like disappearing. So it's like, yeah. and then it comes around, and then whatever when the light hits it, it reflects off. So it's definitely reflecting light. Um, the That's telling cool. thing to me it, it super cool video i have not the faintest idea of what this possibly could be the thing that kind of leads me to stray from maybe it's not aliens is that it's a dis that descending pattern right where it's not like it's it's not when we don't ever see it seemingly go back up right it's true so it's like to me i'm like you know 
I, I, although I don't I have I have no explanation for what it could be. Other than it, no. it's a little suspect that it's descending. Is it the is it malfunctioning? Slowly descending out of the sky? You know, possibly. Perhaps. Hard to tell. Um what do you guys think? Uh zero to gimbal. And we've changed the gimbal scale from ten down to five, so it's uh, zero to gimbal with the the five being it's a it's a hundred percent UFO, hundred percent undeniable proof. Yeah, uh, this one for me it's definitely like it's, it's not like oh for sure that's a plane that has flashing lights. Easy debunk. I'm going with a three right in the middle. Could be theories are endless on this one. I put it at a two um, just because of the way that it is like like you said you mentioned the movement of it like the way that it's it's descending obviously kind of looks like it's it, it, it is fam it's either familiar with aerodynamics or it's using kind of a aerodynamic way a, a, a craft that is designed to function on earth would descend so that's why i kind of put it at a two is being like okay could that if it's if it's aliens they're from here i guess <laughs> and oh, they know they're just us from the future oh sure of course Great. um um, yeah, it's it's that's that's what I always put it. I just put it at a two. Put the two. I was kind of thinking that maybe like potentially it's a glider. Um, I'm also gonna give it a three, uh, just because I have no really good explanation at all for what the hell it could be. Um, so you know, I'm leaning towards you know, it's definitely unidentified for me. Um, like glider actually, but now that you said glider, I kind of yeah, like, could like, be a hang, well, it could be like clearish uh, hang glider or something. Right, well, yeah, they have those big ones that they tow up, right, and they'll mm -hmm. let them yep. glide down. And it's south of Laguardia, right? So maybe right. it was tight. Though. Those turns were tight. They were tight. Yeah. They were tight. Like, I mean, unless it was coming back down, like it was. I mean, I, yeah, maybe it was coming in for a landing. Let us know what you think. Um. Oh, I deleted the description of this one. Whoops. Um, that's all right. I have enough of it. This one's coming from Orlando Lakes, Florida. Uh, this was submitted September 24th, uh, 2021. It's MUFON case 118211. Uh, the submitter uh, basically had their digital camera pointed at the moon, and they seemingly catch an object pass between themselves and the moon. Um, without further ado, let's, uh, let's take a peek at this one. That's a good view of the moon, too, That's through telescope good... objects. Crisp. Yeah, it's... Oh. I've seen something there. Boom, little, something. A, that little dot, or a little speck. Yeah, across. I think so. Something just flew right across there we saw from left to right. I think we got more uh, close-ups of it in a second here. Trying to see if this is... Oh, yeah. So oh. he takes it down. That's the full footage. And this is a slow-mo left to right. You can see it shooting in the middle frame by frame there. Something little black and right across. My first Zoomed initial in. thoughts. Black Knight Satellite. <laughs> initial thoughts because you're zoomed in so far. There's no way that thing is anywhere close to the moon so that's something much closer to the lens yeah so something quite small i would imagine uh, to me that looks kind of like a bug because <laughs> it looks like it kind of has flapping wings when it goes by just because you're so zoomed in yeah and just how it goes it goes so fast across like the surface of the moon yeah it, it's a it's a to me a small speck magnified Mm -hmm. at a distance so like it's you know it could be a bug a thousand feet away from the lens or something well if we look at the the first footage here i'm actually pretty sure a bug does fly across at some point here at the beginning like there's a bigger bug that you see it flutters or something i can't find it now but i thought i saw it but yeah this is um this is going uh, this is going low for me because again no. it's you know, it's quite zoomed in on the moon, so I think it, it's just a t tiny object passing between the, 
at mag magnified distance, but a small object. That's yeah, and much closer to the the camera here than we think. Uh, I'm going a one on the. Yeah, uh, might, be a, might be a unilateral one across the board. Yeah, here. I put it a one. Yeah, I mean, it looks like when it zooms in, it looks like you can see kind of it moving. Like there seems to be some kind of wing movement. I'm going to give it a five though on the shot of the moon. It's a nice shot of the moon. It's good looking moon. Oh, like yeah. Hold on. If you watch right here, there's something else that flaps, obviously closer. So it goes across here, and then right here. Did you see that? Oh, yeah, there was a little shadow went across. There's another yeah. little shadow. <laughs> yeah, definitely. So zoom it goes, and then there's another shadow right there. Boom. So like yeah. you see another. Those are definitely it's, things. Those, those are, are definitely. Things, I think those, yeah. are, those are definitely like living creatures. <laughs> If we were zoomed in on this and the black dot was like moving very slowly across, like this, looking like closer to the moon, I would rate it higher. But because it moves so fast, fast. also if it were that huge, you'd probably be like, there'd probably be a shadow on the moon. Right? Yeah, if it was <laughs> yeah, if it was that far big. away, exactly. Yeah. yeah, that's a good point. Um, the next video is brought to you from Cranston, Rhode Island. Uh, this was submitted September. 25th uh 2021 and it's mufon case number 118229 um the submitter said it looked like glowing embers in the sky that pulsated and had synchronized movements um this person said uh, it reminded him of hot coals that get brighter when you blow on it uh there were other witnesses as well um and everyone was kind of saying what is that um people's initial thoughts like in the crowd that had Form to watch this thought maybe fireworks but it wasn't moving uh the pulsating and getting brighter uh it, if it had a halo of light around it and it was getting larger than smaller um you know let's let's get into it. i'm excited i'm curious to see what this looks like here um got two little space lights space lights in the uh oh Oh, they're driving. Yeah, so they pull over. Yeah, they're driving. Two seemingly reddish, orange. Those are too big for China lanterns, sir. Their boy. Two. <laughs> I mean, I. They look tethered. Like you don't see they're they're flying in perfect unison. So I'm gonna say like if it were Chinese lanterns, you think you would, you know, maybe. They one would drift up or down. Or, yeah. Right. A zero on the scale, I think, should be China. It's Chinese lanterns to gimbal. Yeah. <laughs> Get back in the frame here. Yeah. What, what were they listening to on the radio? There it was reflecting off the mirror. Uh, alien theorists theorizing. <laughs> um, there we go. There we go. There we go. Okay. They pulled go. over so and got should, out. Yeah. And well, they one... look like the unless they move the camera, like it looks like they've, or at least now you just see the one. Yeah, one flickered out. Which is you know pretty typical of a China China lantern. <laughs> yeah. And that one's hanging out there. And it's and they kind of change position and then yeah. it just kind of fizzles out. And it's gone. And it's gone. Is it is it cloudy though? Did it go into the cloud? I think it I looks think pretty so. overcast. So uh because my initial thought was that although they weren't red and green, it was like navigation lights on wingtips, like a, sure. a, a plane that's banking. Sure. And it seemingly levels out, and then you lose one, so it's, you can't see the other side of the plane. What? But usually they'd be red and green if they're like left and right wingtip, right? Yeah. Okay. I mean, and you don't really see them like stray from each other. Again, we we've, we've seen other videos like this with these kind of lights tethered together. It 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 seems so. It's. I mean, I don't really have a good explanation for it. I don't oh, think it's China Chinese lanterns based on the descriptions that these people give. Um, I'm trying to look at the it, what they said. The the both both were pulsating, but in synchronization, uh, the top would illuminate and get brighter, and the one below would get dim. Then it would alternate. The bottom become brighter, and the top one become dim. Then they shift their location again. 
so that they are now on a diagonal. Uh, one disappears more quickly than the second. The second disappears eventually, but it looks as if it was quickly moving away from us because it grew smaller and smaller until it was gone. We were not the only ones who witnessed it. This was uh, on the RT-10 going towards Providence. You got two Foo Fighters here, two glowing orbs. Yeah. Fiery orbs. Jumping into hyperspace. Yeah, and, yeah. and they said two cars in front of them also slowed down to take what a gander fuck? at the China Lanterns. Um, you know, this one, again, if, I just I just don't have a good explanation. It's weird to me that they seem so tethered. If it was perhaps Chinese Lanterns, you know, you think that you would see some movement. I mean, one does flicker and dim out, which, you know, does happen with Chinese lanterns, but I don't know. It's just weird. And I, I reading, I know the people's eyes are going to be seeing these better than what the camera captured. So I, I'm going to give this one a three, a three again. I just don't know. It's strange. Yeah, I would, um, I don't think it's an, it's not like commercial aircraft, at least. I would, would be red and green or white tip and tail. Uh, I'm an, I'll go with a three as well. I don't know. So I, I can't I can't lean either way. I'm going to go right in the middle. Uh, Yeah, looking at them, they, the one kind of fades out and the other one kind of follows it. And I don't know. I'd say two ships coming in. And jump it into hyperspace after that. Like you said, they're trying to get farther away, or they seem to be well, getting farther away. That's what they said. So. It's like they they were getting smaller as if they're moving out. But a four. Maybe. Uh, Dan's almost on gimbal. Yeah. I like it. Um, cool video. Interesting. Good one from good descriptions on these on these videos as well. One of my complaints has been people submitting these haven't been giving the best descriptions, but. A lot of they these ones been taking your feedback. They've been taking my feedback on a show they never watch. Uh, <laughs> this one is all right. This one is from South Chicago Heights, Illinois. Uh, submitted uh, September twenty fifth, twenty twenty one. Mufon case number one one eight two six four. Little tidbit about this one: this video is ten minutes long. We are not going to watch the entire ten minute clip here. Uh, we'll kind of skip through it. Um, the person, the submitter says they're, they've caught a uh, V formation of four pulsating orb like bright objects uh, at about 8 p.m. Um, they appeared stationary and hovering. She decided to drive to the end of the street and then turn east to see if she could get a better view. Um, once she began driving east, she could clearly see the lights in the sky and saw that there were three more in addition to the one she had previously spotted. Um, she drove two blocks and parked, got out of the car to take the video. Uh, the objects were just hovering there and they seemed to be pulsating with orange, white, red, and violet colors. Uh, at around the 229, 230 mark, one of the four objects slowly drifted north and disappeared behind a tree and the remaining three begin to slowly form a V formation. They remain in this formation until around three minutes and 40 seconds. Uh, when the object to the left of the formation begins slowly to move north and disappear behind the same tree. So we'll kind of take a peek and then I'll fast forward to those points that she writes down in the description and uh, we'll, let's, let's take a peek. Here we go. The, <laughs> you, see, you see the three... Stationary. Stationary. They look, they look strange. Like... Here's she driving to kind of get a better look. Oh God, Jesus. Right? <laughs> well, it looks like just Orion's belt, but there's no other stars. Yeah, and they seem... I've, I've never seen Orion's belt lit up I mean, red like right. that. But yes, yeah. you're, you're not wrong. The space, it looks like. Right? But there's no other... It looks overcast or something, so there's no other stars. Now I don't know the landscape of Chicago, so I, like it's obviously it's pretty flat, windy place. But is there any hills around Chicago? It's because this had Chicago Heights, right? So there's gonna yeah. be hills around. Well, so let's. Uh, I'm gonna push it forward to the two minute and twenty second mark where she. Uh... Oh, hold on. There's a. 
There's the fourth light just popped in. Where did that one come from? Oh, from the back. So they're all kind of pushing out. A string of lights. Do we have ourselves a SpaceX? Maybe, but why aren't they moving? Like, you know, you know what I mean? Like every other SpaceX I've seen kind of travels across the horizon. So I'm going to push that forward. They, I don't know if they travel. I think they're just in a line because they're, they're stationary. Right but there. see, they've they've already gone from a perfect line. One flickered out bef before oh, yeah, going. Now and now it's kind of, you know, pushed into a kind of a triangle formation. Um, well, the one, so we, one disappeared in the top, in the top left there. One is gone now. Yeah. And so now it's these three are kind of almost in a triangle formation. I'm going to push forward to the 340 mark where she says they, um, you know, they push way into a triangle. Oh, one, wait, it, one just disappeared there. For it a flickered. Yeah. Like they really spread out. That's really strange. Yeah, the one on the left is slowly drifting towards the tree. And I'm going to fast forward this a little bit. You can see that triangle getting wider and wider until that one on the left is gone again. And just the two lights remain. And interesting, we never see them come out to like from the other side of the tree. Oh. Well, now it's just one. Oh, now there's two. Yeah. And it's, it's seemingly going behind the tree as well. And it's gone. And this lady's commentary is pretty funny if you want to go watch the full clip uh, in the description. And then one seemingly goes left to right behind the tree again. And gone. And that's it. Now, originally when I... When I first seen it, because I've seen something like this before, uh, it was a mountain in the background behind the clouds, and it had it was like a like a ski hill. Yeah, but you couldn't tell there was a hill there. You could just see the lights. Are you thinking like in Vancouver? Uh, is that what you're thinking? Yeah, it was uh, uh, Cypress or whatever. Grouse, yeah, Grouse Mountain. Grouse. So, so that's what originally what I thought, but th those are the chair lights, so they don't move like. So originally when I seen it, I was like, what the fuck is that? And then I realized, oh, there's actually a mountain there, but it's covered in fog and you can't actually tell. And then the lights are poking through. But this, they slowly move. So something is slowly drifting. Yeah. yeah. The fog. And I originally thought when they first come into the line, I thought we were looking at Starlink satellites. Mind you, I was a little, I'm like, okay, well, it's weird that they're not traveling in that like straight line that we've seen. And really um, then they just kind of, they start to move and then drift into like a different pattern. It's very strange. Yeah. I thought we were looking at maybe like when they were all lined up for a while, I thought they were looking at maybe just like reflections of either like street lights or something like that. Cause they're just lined up like that. Yeah. Like right possibly. here. Cause they're, they're standing, what is that? There, it looks like they're standing next to some high t like power lines there. Mm -hmm. Um, so I was thinking there's maybe another set of power lines or something like that. But the fact that they move um, and move in such like a, I mean, there's a huge change in the configuration between when you first see them and then towards the end of the video where they shift into like a triangle formation, then they keep like going behind that tree and then they don't come back out. So um, it's, yeah, it's really interesting. That's something that's really, really strange. And then the fact that whatever these things are that drift or seemingly drift behind the tree, not one of them pops out on the other side of the tree on the horizon here. Not one. Um, I, I got to look at this one and just with some strange lights. I'm giving this one a four. Like I have absolutely no explanation. Now, I would like to get to the top of the hill that she's like that she's looking up. Maybe that would give us a better perspective, but I just have nothing that I could give you that could m mimic that, that would just sit, slowly drift, make the triangle formation, and then just, like, it's seemingly, like, one at a time. It's like, okay, my turn, I'm out, my turn, I'm out, my turn, I'm out. Like, they stay stationary for so long before moving. So, uh, yeah, I'm going uh, four, four to gimbling, or gimbal.
Oh. I'd give it a, I'd definitely give it a four, uh, just because of just the, the huge difference in positional change between when you originally see them and then when they, uh, towards the end of the video, and then they eventually all kind of, kind of blink out. Um, four is it? Yeah, it's an easy four for me. Like easy four. Yeah, I thought maybe it might be like cars or something on a hill, but they just do not move like any type of yeah. car. Like they're in without like total geographical knowledge of that Chicago Heights, <laughs> South Chicago Heights. I think it's easy for. <laughs> the only reason that qu crossed my mind is just like just the height on the horizon, how it's so low. Mm -hmm. uh, might, might might be something on a hill, but it just d doesn't seem like it's cars or it's not cha definitely not a chairlift. And what it is? It's a four. weird movement. For four sure. Four. Four's all around. Interesting. All right. And uh, last video tonight brought to you by Lubbock, Ooh. Texas. Lubbock Lights. Uh, Lubbock the Lubbock Lights. Lights are back, baby. Uh, this was submitted September 26, uh, 2021. MUFON case 118275. Uh, the submitter said spheres, they interact, they cross paths, and then they hover and take off. Um, the submitter right away says he he wants everyone to know that he originally thought the first one he thought saw was weather balloons but um they seem to travel south pretty rapidly uh and then another sphere appears that's when he kind of is like oh i'm not looking at a weather balloon here uh and it decided like descended then it stops and ascends and it it cross paths with the original object that he saw before both stopping. And then um, they go south, I think. I can't really, his writing doesn't really make sense. Um, he's actually even done some background research in this because he was so kind of flabbergasted at what he saw. He went and searched everything. And he did find that NASA did launch weather balloons around this time. However, he says that where he was and where the launches were, there is not a chance um it could have been both weather balloons and with the flight itineraries that he looked up they were launching in different spots and they would not have intersected like this they were in two different areas um and also just to add a little weird to it he also saw chinook helicopters uh flying mm. around the skies uh fairly close to these objects uh without further ado let's get into the lubbock texas uh submission here this little preview clip. Let's get into it. So there's definitely the one white object. Mm. And looking at this right now, I see why he would think maybe potential weather balloon. Looks like a weather balloon at first glance. Yes, because we've we've seen other videos that are in fact weather balloons. Um, and they do look like that. So I think I see a second object starting to appear a little south to it, like just underneath that power line. Get back up there. Yeah, it looks like there's a smaller... Oh, right now there's there. def definitely two. There they go. They cross, seemingly cross paths. What? And the top one the seemingly then begins to follow at a slower rate or stays stationary. Oh, that's interesting. Kind of like state. They're not like moving, moving up and down, or like above, it, above or below each other, but they're not moving side to side. Like no. Another shot of them. It's like for videos like this, like where's the guy's tele, like telephoto, like giant, like fifty may, fifty yeah. times. <laughs> Because everyone keeps that in the trunk of your car. Yeah, just throw it up. Get, yeah, everyone should have one in, the, in their trunk, you know? Should be this standard is, issue. This one's, it, like, this shot of whatever this is, is seemingly, like it's not moving. No, and that's, yeah, that's why it does seem like some type of b balloon or... Now, where's the second one, though? I don't see a second one in this one. Um, those were the in the order that they were submitted. So I wonder if this was supposed to be uh, like a f earlier video. There's no time code. I just know this is file three. 
Um, so this was the last one submitted. So maybe it was supposed to be before. But if we go back, like just looking at this one here, I mean, I would lean towards Weather Balloon and this first one here. Like, I mean, we've seen Weather Balloons look like that. Where we get interesting is this second video here that shows uh, the two seemingly crossing paths. Where is it? Right here. Right, we see these two objects seemingly drift together. One's, up. one's going down. And then they both go down. You can see the top one kind of switches directions. Is Now you can kind of give it a base on that cloud to the left. You know? And the they did a drive lines. by five on the yeah. way down. <laughs> Fucking your two bro, tag them in. Yeah, Yui. Um, I don't know. That's just uh, it. You know, so stationary. Again, and it's that straight line. Like we're not seeing an erratic pattern like some of the other videos we've seen. Um, we're not seeing like extreme speed. <laughs> I don't have a good explanation. But I, I don't. My brain doesn't go to like a UFO craft with this one, just because of the slow speed and just the straight line. Yeah, the straight line up and down and how they kind of cross it makes me seem like maybe this is some type of scientific instrument and what like they're just exchanging them. You know, yeah. one one went up, one went down. Yeah, maybe, and that's the that's what's giving that perception. Um, I don't know, Dan. What do you think? I think that seems like a pretty good assessment of what's going on here. Cause it just seems like one goes up and then the other one either. I mean, yeah, one, one comes up out of seemingly from the bottom and then they pass with, but they pass like right within like really close proximity to each other. Or it yeah. seems like that anyways, yeah, like which is kind of hard to do, but unless that one was, I mean, maybe that one was already there and then whatever they're doing, if it's some type of scientific uh, apparatus or something like that then they would have to be right underneath that other one and then letting up another one yeah. at the same time like if they were just saying that i mean that's possible that's possibly what's going on here it doesn't scream ufo to me uh again we don't have any sense of you know uh, gravity defying movement or speed or anything like that just kind of you know something that that's hovering there which could be done with a, a t some type of balloon or some type of uh well, most likely a balloon or something like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree. I'll, I'm going with a. I'll give it a two. I'll, I'll also I'll follow suit. I'll give you. I'll give it a two as well, just because I'm like I can't. I can't just. I, I'm not going to give it a, a China Lantern score because I, I don't know what it is. I, I I just don't think it's. I don't. This does, like Dan said doesn't scream extraterrestrial to me. Yeah, a two. A two's I, a good one. I I I go with the two too <laughs> well and there we go that's um the U weekly ufo review for the week of october 4th uh to october 8th um let us know what you think uh watch the original videos and did we did we nail it are we dead wrong uh do you have a submission of your own you'd like to send us uh send it to alien theorists at gmail.com and maybe we'll feature it on the show uh anyways like we always say at the end of these things keep those eyes on the skies. To keep up to date with all things alien theorists theorizing, follow us across social media on Twitter, Instagram, Patreon, and Facebook. For updates on new videos and content on YouTube, don't forget to click like and subscribe and hit that notifications button to keep those eyes on the skies with alien theorists theorizing. <laughs>